Hi everyone! Hello. Welcome Hello. back to my channel. I have K and C uh, which is um, in the back <laughs> with me today and as you can see this is our room and see that corner over there I want to try and make it over and turn it into like a sort of like an office corner so I got a desk from B&M and Big it's one. actually so big over there behind the TV right now. Don't worry, it's not. It's it's act, it's bigger. It's it's longer than that. Mine is longer than that. <laughs> yes. Uh, so anyway, that's what I'm gonna be. New. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. My husband is working, and we actually picked that up from B and M yesterday. I did the line. I did. If we can't do, if we can't do most of it, he's gonna help us. <laughs> so we just got that desk from B and M yesterday, yeah, and but I didn't. Know. But my husband's working today, what but you know it? what? I cannot wait. I'm too excited I that I don't think I'm going to wait for him. Today. I want to build it now. I'm going to try anyway. Okay, so this is what we are going to build. This is the lock-in three-drawer desk with shelving. So that's what it looks like. That's pointed out by my daughter. And like I said, we got this from B&M. It is for 50 pounds yeah and we actually had to go to a couple of different bnm branches because in some branches this is actually low in stock so yeah I ha we had to go to one that's a little bit further away from where we live it was like the bnm home store so they yeah. had a good stock there oh this is quite heavy i didn't expect that weight it says 60 pounds here but they actually are selling it for 50 pounds now so i don't know if that's gonna be the price forever but yeah just for now probably a discount okay i don't know if you guys can see that but i'm a little disappointed in this because this is supposed to be brand new but look at how dirty it looks she is it just one. dirty or is this already used oh my goodness i hope it's not because i really do not want to have to go back anyway we'll see i'm gonna try and build this i'm gonna clean it first and see how it goes it's been used i think it is new but it's just that the way they package this is like look at that it's so dirty i mean that is a difference i guess when it comes to i don't know but anyway let's just get past it and let's get started <laughs> This is just a lot worse than I thought. Uh, no. This is not the first time that I bought like a piece of furniture from B&M, but this is the first time. We don't where I'm know. like, I'm not expecting the best of quality, like what I would usually get from like, say, Ikea or something. But this one... Seems really good on the photo, but... Yeah, no the, 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 the photo looks really good. The materials, they're, you know, so-and-so, given the price. The way it's packaged, it's so dusty dirty. and dirty. Like, I had to, like, wipe it down. Yeah, and I had to help and, it. And, like, some of these look a little bit bendy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see that. And there's no manual. manual. It says on the box, easy self-assembly. How am I gonna do that without a manual? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll try to find out if I can see a manual online. Okay, so we found a video that we can sort of follow. I don't know. I haven't seen the actual full video, but I'm gonna try and see if I can follow. But I think the first thing that the person did was it's either this one or there's two of them. See eight? this, um, it has that many holes. There's two of these. Is there even a number on this? This is the number six. Number six, number one. Does it say number six on this? Yeah, 
says number six. Wait, okay. So it's the number six, I think, is what the guy in the video yeah, is holding. Yeah, because it has one, two small holes on both, on two sides, on both sides, yeah. and two in the middle. And then what he did was take two, um, four wooden pegs. Four wooden pegs from this bag that's labeled A. CD and then they put it and then he put it in the in in, in the four big holes. So we have wooden pegs, these wooden pegs, and we're gonna put them on the number six four medium holes in the middle. Okay. There we go. Now let's see the next. She didn't find them. I found them. Okay. So after that. You put um there's this um there are three pieces of this number seven that has nothing on the surface. And there's, there's two holes. white on the long sides and then on the short side would be brown and would have those two holes. Same on um, the other okay. side. Okay, so it's not just the four pegs, by the way, before because um this one is going to be the side with the shelves. I'm not sure if you can see from the hey <laughs> see see from the picture over yeah, there. I can see it. it would be that side with the shelves. See, careful. So yeah. the top yeah. would be this end that has the two big holes because this part would be a shelf, a shelf. And a shelf, so we actually need two more wooden pegs to go in here. And that's what it looks like. Now, so we have one, two, three, and then we number seven. I wanted to know which part is the top and bottom, is because, like I said earlier, these pieces are not the most perfect. Like this one has a little nick underneath it, on on the one side, so the other side looks better. So I would definitely want the better side to be up and the one that has the damage would be under so that nobody will see it <laughs> or I wouldn't see it. But anyway, let's get on with this. So, so why I'm not make put one here. So oh, it's re oh, I know now why it's all dirty the because the, the holes have like wood shavings, you know, and I don't think do I need wipes? No, let's not. We'll, we'll, we'll clean it when we're done. So let me just put this now. There. We're going to try and do this one at a time. Yeah, so once okay. we've done that, we're going to go like this. I'll help. It'll come off. Careful. Turn this around. And that part is my favorite. And? And that part is my favorite. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the video that I'm referring to on YouTube to help me build this is this video from Auntie YP Official. It's called the best B&M 3 drawer desk with shelving desk setup. Anyway, I'm going to leave the link for this video in the description box. Okay, hopefully he'll show everything so that I can follow it. Uh, it's not a talking video, his video, so I'll try to explain to you what he's doing if I can. So it looks like he's using these screws, which comes from a bag that's marked FBH. So it's this um, screw right you? here. Okay, so if we turn this around, see from where we put the first shelf on, there are holes. And I think that's where I screw we in. Okay, so we're just gonna yeah. keep on doing that for all three shelves. Okay, so we've done that and to be honest with you, I'm a little bit iffy about this because I can barely tighten. I don't know why, but the screws doesn't seem to go really tight. Like for example, this one here, I've used five different screws. This kind of screwdriver, a manual screwdriver, and yet it seems like it's not completely tightening. But we're gonna continue and see how this goes. Once we've done that, we're going to take the other one, which is the same long side, which is the number six, is it? Yeah, it's the number six. We're going to take wooden pegs and screw them in. Okay, so I'm going to try to turn this. Okay, wait. It didn't pop in. Okay. And then we're going to use the screws again to screw them in. So that's the shelf side. 
hopefully that is sturdy even though the screws won't really stop i think we have to cover them um, but i'll do that later on okay so the next step is we are going to take one of these pieces there's two of this this one is marked one and the other piece which looks exactly the same is marked two this is what it looks like on one side and this is what it looks like on the other side the end that has those big three holes would be the top the brown side facing me and then this would be the top so i'm gonna get one of these when you open these things there's two kinds so you get one where it's sort of flat and then the other one is it has like that metal thing so you want to get the one that looks more flat you're going to put it this way over here and then you're going to align it with this three holes so we have here the big holes and we have the brown and here so we're going to put this one like so we're going to align the holes. So there. So we have three holes. And then we're going to use one of the screws found in this bag. Which would be this small one right here. And we're just going to screw them in. And we're going to do that three times. So one, two, three. And three. Okay, so I finished that one, so I'm gonna do the same on the other side. One thing to note, I think you can adjust how far your drawers go. See here, I screwed it on the first hole, while on the other two I screwed it on the second. So now I'm confused of whether I should adjust this one or follow this one. Whichever way you decide, you have to do it exactly the same way on the other side. I think I want it closer to the edge, so I'm gonna adjust this first one so that it will be the same as the other two because simply I'm like thinking if I close the drawer, I want it to stop there. And if I close the drawer here, then it's gonna be that space and I don't like that. I probably prefer to do it this way. So I might just, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Start with the second hole on the bottom we need to attach this piece there's only one piece of this size and this is marked as number four and it's gonna go at the bottom that's the top right there with the three big holes so that's the top with the three big holes so we're gonna put it right here at the bottom where we have similar to the um, holes earlier from when we built the first shelf we're gonna put these wooden pegs over here and then we're gonna take this and i guess it can go either way this side looks terrible so i'm gonna choose this to be at the bottom and i want this at the top so i'm just gonna insert those we're gonna turn this Give it a little bit of support. We're going to use the same screws that we used earlier. This one. There's two holes here. And there's one of these. This is the number five. Because this is going to be your front. So you want to cover that bit like that. So we're going to attach it again with the screw. So I'm going to take this now and make sure just to align the holes. Put it here and use this screw. So we're going to do that now. That's what it looks so far. This other side over here. Like this. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put the pegs. So just make sure that you have it the right way around, right? We have to put the pegs there again. Two pegs. And then we have to screw them all in here. And then that's okay. Screw in the other two. Now, that's what it looks like. 
that's gonna be the drawer side. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is actually. Oh, I have to do that in. This is the tabletop, and as you can see, we have different holes. We have small and holes of this size. So for all the holes, the small holes, there, 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 all the small holes, we are going to be putting in the screws for all those small holes. For the bigger ones, we're going to be using wooden pegs. Okay, so I have everything here now. Basically, this is going to be the drawer part and that's going to be the shelf part. You probably could switch it around whichever way you want it, but I want it this way. And I have to put this on top. Obviously, that part would be for the drawer part. You know, it should match all those holes. And then this part would be for the shelf part. So I'm going to try to do that. The only thing that's annoying me as well is one of the pegs is short. But it's in, I put it here in the middle so it's not going to be that much of a problem. Let's see if I can do this on my own because um, it will be tricky to sort of align. I'm just going to transfer the pegs here at the bottom. This is a little bit tricky. Ah, straight through, oh my gosh. It, it literally just went straight through. But I'm not done. So now that we have the tabletop on top, we need to get these things right here to go in all those holes to secure. Um, also there and behind here to secure our table. So basically just put that through and screw it in with a screwdriver. So now we're going to put the back for the drawer, so it would be the long one, obviously long thin one. We're going to have to use nails and a hammer. Okay, so that's it done. So now it's time to make the drawers. You have six of these. They're numbered 10 and 9, so you're partnering them. And then we have three of these. 11s which are shorter and then we have three of these which are going to be obviously the front of the drawers and then we have six of these ones that are left from earlier like earlier we have to make sure that we're putting the right one for the right side of it okay so for this bit the long one there's they're numbered nine and ten so there's three number nine for one side and then three number 10 for the other side so this goes on the side same side as this um, gap here put it like that and then you'll screw them in through those holes so just make sure that they're the same length and the important thing is on the other side so there's the gap there on the other side the wheel this bit should be away or opposite the bigger holes so i'm just going to screw them in using these screws 
you just need two screws to screw them in so i'm gonna do that now okay so the next thing to do now is the front so we have these handles and they came with this kind of screws like that so how do you do that <laughs> oh there you can put that through there okay so just screw them in there and that's it oh yeah guys by the way in case you're wondering these are not metal they're actually sort of plasticky now that we're done with this see those four holes we have to put these type of screws again now that we have this screws there we'll take one number nine and one number ten put them on top of those screws one side doesn't have any uh, holes and the other side has holes see that gap there it should align with this gap and at the same time so we put them in together like that See what I mean? And then the wheel is outside and it's away from the door that you're going to be pulling. We'll do the same thing with the opposite side. It's going to be like that. It's looking like a drawer already. Now, once you have that, you take one of these round things. So you take one of those and secure again we're gonna secure by putting those in and we're gonna I'll use a screwdriver to tighten them up okay so now that we have this formed we're gonna take one of these ones and insert them try to insert them through slide them through the gap all the way to the bottom so it looks like that and then we take one of these shorter ones and make sure it goes on the gap as well and then you take again one of these screws screw them in through those <sighs> finally one drawer done okay guys okay done. so okay so we're finished this. we're finished okay. like c said and we're going to put our drawers in now oh yeah oh um, there we go uh, every... oh yeah it's already yeah. complete there we go that's our desk there are things here these are like, I think, the feet. So you can put that underneath. And then we have some stickers here, which I'm gonna use to cover. I didn't know. Some of these screws. So you can cover that. Oh yeah. I'll use this yeah, one. Cover them up. Okay, so that okay. is our finished product. Yeah. obviously it's not tidy in here yet <laughs> i just built the desk which is going to be in that corner it's a good enough size but it's not massive and then, and then we have here drawers so three drawers which are also good sizes for storage and on the other side we have shelves um, I wouldn't say it's the best of materials, <laughs> but it'll do for just a quick home office desk. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you find it useful. Because... Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, so anyway, don't forget to like this video if you do like it. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you again next time. Bye!
don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And if you like this one, give it a thumbs up and share.